Hello and welcome back to this week's video. Uh, this week's video, as I said last week, is a little bit different. It's going to be a vlog style video. Um, I'm filming this part of the video, the introduction and the outro um, on Sunday. But yesterday, on Saturday, the 22nd of June, 2024, I went to the first ever Meet Cute Fest. It was a book festival um, hosted at a place called Bushy Rose Gardens in Bushy. Um, it was a lovely day, uh, met some brilliant authors, Met some. Uh, got to uh, listen to some very interesting panels. I think there was about five or six panels all in all. So yeah, it was a very good day overall. It was a little bit different than from what I was expecting because I was expecting to drive there. But we have a problem with the car, it has to go into the garage, so I couldn't drive, so we had to get the train instead, which was an adventure all in itself. Um, so we had to leave quite early because we wasn't sure about how long it would take. Well, we knew how long it would take, but we wasn't sure about changes and things like that. So we left earlier, um, it was a very long day, um, but it was a very good, enjoyable day. And as I say, I met some very good authors, authors that have inspired me in my own writing journey. Um, even got uh, a signed book from one of my favourite authors, Kirsty Greenwood, which you will see, I'll show you that later. Got Bought a couple of books as well, so I think they plan to do this again next year, so I will be keeping an eye out for those tickets. I will be going again. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy, I hope you enjoy coming along with me and seeing what we got to. So here we are at Bushy Rose Gardens at last and as if on cue we are in the UK and it is British summertime it started raining so <laughs> yay and it's all outside so that's good. <laughs> um, so yeah I found a gazebo well I hoped it had a roof but it doesn't have a roof either so <laughs> I can't even get out of the rain there um, but it is a lovely looking place. I'm really excited to be here and uh, meet some brilliant romance authors. So yeah, just take you along with the day on the day with me. As you no doubt saw the day got off to a very wet start but by the end of the day it was it was much warmer the sun had come out by the end of the day and it was lovely weather um which was just as well considering it was outside if it had rained all day it would have been it would have been quite the washout um but luckily it didn't i've even managed to catch the sun which is uh, unusual for me so um but i did manage as i said in the introduction i did manage to um get my hands on some books so i bought um Liz, Liz Fenwick's or Phoenix, The Secret Shore, which is set in World War Two and um, sort of takes part takes place around the Cornish coast, and it sounds really interesting. So I'm, I'll read the blurb for you, just so you know what it's about. Um, 
So, as one of the Navy's most skilled map ma makers, Mary knows that lives depend on her work in the War Office, but when a family crisis draws her back to her beloved Cornwall, she finds herself working alongside Jake, an enigmatic American officer on secret operations spanning the rugged coasts of Cornwall and Brittany, which she knows so well. As rumours and suspicions swirl around her family, Mary is increasingly drawn to Jake, despite the defences she's built around her heart. It's a dangerous time to fall in love. The tides of war are rising and there is everything to lose. But hearing her talk about it, it sounded really interesting. And uh, I'm, I'm quite interested in World War II myself. Um, I studied history in World War II um, at school and at uni. Um, so, but I've never actually read any World War II books set in World War II. So I thought, you know, maybe, maybe I should. So I treated myself to this. Another book I got was uh, Cressida McLaughlin's The Cornish Cream Tea Bookshop. Um, and she writes a lot of books set in Cornwall. I really enjoyed her Cornish Cream Tea bus, which actually I do have. I got from the library but can't quite find oh it's up there on the top shelf I can't reach it at the moment um but yes yeah, so I'm, I'm interested in starting that series again I haven't read all the books in the series um and I've got this one now as well so I am very excited to start this one I'll read the blurb again um this is obviously in time for Christmas I usually start reading Christmas books around about mm, September October time um, because I like to get the Christmassy vibes pretty early. Um, I'm usually writing a Christmas story around that time, or I have been writing, actually, no, I usually write Christmas stories in the summer, um, so I've got the Christmas vibes already, but there, won't, there probably won't be a Christmas story this year, unfortunately, because I'll be concentrating on Viking, on my Viking saga, so priorities have to change sometimes. Anyway, let's get on. I'll read this, uh, this blurb to you. Is there a happy ending waiting inside? Ollie Spencer has started a new life in the idyllic Cornish seaside town of Port Caradale. Throwing herself into her job at the town's bookshop, a new chapter, is one way to make friends. The shop is glitzing up for its first Christmas and Ollie hopes her inspired ideas will give the shop the edge it needs to dazzle, to dazzle the town. But far from being the sugar plum fairy the place needs, Ollie is fast becoming its Christmas pudding. With the bookshop's success at stake, Ollie turns to twinkly-eyed cafe owner Max for help. Can he help Ollie to, to turn the page and put the sparkle back into her Cornish dream? So I thought that was quite a, that would be a nice cosy Christmas read um, for this year. Um, so I'll definitely be reading that closer to, closer to the end of the year. Um, and as I said to you in the beginning, um, I didn't buy this at the book festival because I bought this a couple of days before because I wasn't sure um, exactly if this would be here or if it would be sold out. So I definitely wanted to make sure I went with this copy because I've, I knew Kirsty Greenwood was going to be on one of the panels and she was and then afterwards I got her to sign the book as well. So, so I was very happy to meet Kirsty Greenwood and other authors as well. Um, I will leave some links down below. I will leave um, the Meet Cute um, Instagram link below if you're interested in maybe following that up next year or for the next event whenever that may be. If you follow them on Instagram you will, you will be the first to know um, what's going on there that's uh, that's all for this week i'm going back to reading my viking saga and prepping for that now um don't forget lessons in love is now officially on pre-order so you can head over to amazon or apple or wherever you you prefer to buy your books from and uh, pre-order it now i will leave a link uh, in the description box below as well don't forget to like subscribe comment um, share if you feel like this is something you would like to spread the word about um, and I will see you next week for a brand new video. Bye.